Right now, I am literally throwing full sulker boxes of anything I want into a hopper and duplicating like crazy. MCBE and Bedrock, Buckwild duplication right now. Hey there guys, Skippy here for Room Skippy 6 Gaming. Guys, coming to you with a crazy duplication glitch. Guys, this is like a culmination of two duplication glitches mixed together with a hint of, you know, awesomeness. For this one here, guys, three, 493 likes. Not three, 493 likes. If you're one of those dudes, don't forget to hit me up below. So, yeah, first things first, shout out to MC Hardcore, first of all, because... This glitch has kind of been going on MCPE and you can't really do it with an Xbox controller, but he kind of, you know, made me hip to the game on how this works and how to do it. So I thought that was super awesome. He linked a video to Slack Lizard. So Slack Lizard basically is the genius behind the fact that it's a really simple thing that you got to do to make this work on a console edition as well. And uh, yeah, shout outs to both of them. Link to Slack, Slack Lizard in the description below. So let's do this, guys. Right now, people have been using on MCP and Bedrock. They've been using this glitch where it shoots out, you know, diamonds or whatever, and they keep going back and forth. But on basically when you open the menu here, you cannot use the same buttons on a touch screen for basically if you're on a touch screen for MCPE, it's easy. You just keep keep smashing this, but it just won't work on a controller. So what basically what Slack Lizard did and pretty much informed me of at least in this sense, because that was the only key thing that I was missing was you just simply plug a mouse into your Xbox. You still use your controller and everything. Go find who doesn't have, I bet you 95% of the people watching this video right now can just take a mouse and plug it into their Xbox. Once you plug that mouse into your Xbox, you can do this glitch like nonstop. This is 10 times faster, guys. People think, oh, this is slow. It is slow. This thing will literally basically duplicate full soccer boxes of whatever you want as fast as you can click. And it only involves any dirty old mouse around your house. If you're on MCPE, you just do it the same way that I'm doing it. Just use your use your fingers instead of the mouse like me. On Xbox, you use this. And on Windows 10, you can use the other way. So as you can see right here, bang. I just like literally was like duplication station gone mad. And yeah, so this is let's let's just do this. We're gonna build this even guys look at my little station. How awesome is that? So tiny works pretty good, doesn't it? And you don't see any redstone. So I just think that's pretty sharp. Let's go over here and uh, let's get the stuff we need to make it. It's pretty simple. I'm not gonna do a list for you guys. I'm just gonna grab the things we need. And uh, yeah, so it's just gonna be uh, yeah, drop we're gonna need some hoppers to catch the stuff because if you really want to do that's the way you're gonna do it observers and a lever. So let's just make one uh, right here. Perfect. Dig yourself a hole in the ground. You're going to need to make it too wide, even though it's not too wide. Grab yourself your observer and come down as low as you. So basically what you want is this observer facing down right here. Once it does this, go up here facing up. And now you have your repetitive circuit better than, you know, torches and all this stuff. Go ahead and crouch. Go ahead and throw your guy right there and go ahead and throw this guy right here. Crouch place. Bingo, bango put them on top this guy now works this is your repeating circuit easy as that uh, if you were to throw something in it guess what it just gets shot right out and if you turn it off and you throw something in it guess what it's not there anymore so let's go down here and uh, let's grab some dirt and fill this guy up because it looks prettier what's going on perfect get this guy here so leave this guy open and then put your chest here because you're gonna need hoppers and chests if you want to catch all of the dupes that you're doing crouch place and then I just put three one into here this guy into here this guy into here perfect you're done your machine now it's gonna shoot stuff when you turn it on and you're feeling good so now we want to duplicate stuff so you can duplicate anything so let's make this as simple as you want so let's say let's say you don't even want to you don't even want to do any of this stuff. You just have some diamonds, you know, say you got some diamonds, you want to duplicate diamonds. You could do this with very few. I figure, you know what, if you're at this point where you're duplicating whole shulker boxes and stuff, just grab yourself like a half stack or something. We got to have some around here, here. Okay, so now that we got survival mode and a half stack, I just grabbed a half stack of diamonds. We're going to go over here and use our cool toy. Uh, let's uh, let's start this bad boy off. Basically, make sure you have your mouse ready to go. Make sure in your crafting table you have block of diamond. So you do that by going to the search tab here. You start filling it out. Once it's only block of diamond left, then you know you're ready to party. Go ahead and throw. Make sure it's off. So let's make sure it's off here. 
it's on but that's okay leave it like that so now we have some diamonds in there we're gonna want to turn it on we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go to this block of diamonds don't even move your controller just leave your mouse right there as soon as we start doing it we're gonna spam this button right here just with the mouse button easy as that so uh, let's get ready we're gonna leave our cursor there ready to go we're gonna turn this guy on we're gonna go in here and then As you can see, crazy, crazy stuff is going on right now. If you go over here, take it out, bang, your spam is done. Basically, all you have to do is actually just pull this guy out like this. 54 blocks of diamonds. Easy as that, guys. How easy is that? Just by using a mouse. So now everybody's saying, Skippy, you just turned a half a stack of diamonds into 54 blocks of diamonds. Yes, I did. Guys, just a mouse around the house. So now let's show you how to do this with full shulker boxes because that's going to be the main step. So basically what you got to do is get rid of this. You're going to need dye. Pick any dye, guys. Green, purple, orange. I don't even care. I'm just using white dye. It's easy as that. We're going to grab these guys right here. Do we have some more white dye? Just grab a fair amount, you know? green cactus anything once you have this you don't even really need that much you could probably do it with one or two stacks uh but let's see this so we got some in there you know what Let, let's let's take some of this guy right here and let's go over here and then let's pick a shulker box say we want this guy right here <laughs> okay so let's just take a shulker box that's already existing again you can take any shulker box you want filled with enchantments could be filled with anything you want let's go over here and set this guy up so basically what you want to do is go over here and you want to change this to the shulker box of whatever color you have so we have white dye so we're gonna want white shulker so once we have white shulker we're gonna be feeling really good about it go ahead and take you can see we still have our mouse plugged in just in the same old spot we're gonna go ahead and put this shulker box there with whatever we want in it so leave everything here and then fill your inventory just to block it with this white dye and what's going to happen is we're going to be feeling good about it make sure we're not quite there yet and then literally guys i'm telling you you're just going to be throwing full shulkers once we're done this leave these guys here let's go like this and then let's go up here and add some dye up here you could turn this off once you're going full speed it doesn't really matter you're going to be putting them out so fast so uh, make sure you keep your spots full like this this guy here that's enough so now that we have that guys we're going to do the same thing we're going to turn this on we're going to go over if you're on mcpe uh, or windows 10 just use your regular buttons and this will work for you and if you're on xbox on a console with a controller just plug a mouse into the xbox so we got it all ready. It's gonna load up right there. We're gonna turn it on and we're gonna turn this shulker purple, the purple shulker to white. And then we're just gonna keep spamming the trigger. Make sure that you're at least close enough to this hopper so that the stuff that jumps out of your inventory is gonna go in there. And guess what? We're gonna make mad stuff going on. So turn it on, go over here. You're on the box just like this and spam. Just keep spamming. They're shooting out right now, dudes. Right now, we are shooting full boxes of whatever you want. This could be enchanted weapons. Your ability to spam, you know, it's up to you, but you can see two quick right there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look, they're just keep shooting out. And there you go, guys. Man, how powerful is this? OP! And yeah, leave it at that. Shoot, die everywhere. Guess what? So yeah, that's all I'm saying about that. That's how I roll, son. And there you go, guys. You guys know the whole story right now. This will work with anything. I'm going to show you a quick version. You can do this with, say, TNT as well. That was in uh, that was in Slack Lizard's video. So again, shout outs to him. His link is in the description below. But I'm going to show you because it's a good example if you want to, you know, duplicate TNT. Uh, I hope I have TNT type items here. Hmm. I think I probably put them in here. Okay, so sand sand and gunpowder right easy as easy as that let's do it let's go over here and this one here you don't have to fill your inventory just get it out get it out get it out get it out keep going keep going keep going and now we're done that let's go over here let's pull this guy out we don't want this stuff in there now all we want to do is actually put both of these items in whatever you're creating just put the items that make it you know sticky pistons whatever put the ingredients in there Let's dump this guy out. 
take this guy here and then come on over. So now what we want to do is prepare our crafting table. Go like this. We don't want white shulkers anymore. It's much easier. What we want is TNT. So TNT is set up. We're good. We're going to want that mouse to hit the TNT once these things start shooting. So uh, let's keep going here. And then, uh, yeah. So let's turn on our thing. Make sure again, you're placed over these hoppers. Go in there, do this, put your mouse right on top of TNT and start spamming. Guess what? You're going to have mad TNT coming. It's all duplicating. You see the crazy, it's glitching, it's lagging out. You're going to have mad, mad TNT coming, 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 coming. You're going to see a point when it kind of gets to a stop like this and then just go over here. And there you go. It's still going. Go back to your TNT. And every time you go, long story short, we're duplicating TNT here. I'll tell you right now, every time it goes over, go over here. It's lagging right now, which is why it's not doing it as perfectly, but yep. And then at some point in time, you walk away, you say, hey, and look, you got even more stuff to replace in your hopper and you're ready to go. Guess what? We got two stacks of TNT in our inventory in addition to the stuff. And there you go, guys. That is it. That is all. I hope you liked it, guys. Don't forget to smash that like. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for, uh, yeah, cool tutorials, let's plays, and glitches these days. It's pretty super cool. And, uh, yeah, thanks a lot for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next one.